and welcome to the Julie's World vlog. So this week I am on the road. I'm a road warrior. Um, there's some HSN and then we're off to the Housewares Association show in Chicago. Um, it's a lot of travel, a lot of scanning cuts, so come along for the ride. Okay, I think I'm mostly awake. Um, I am packed. My suitcase appears to weigh 48 pounds, so the limit's 50, so I just can't buy anything on the trip, and I've got to, like, use all the Listerine in my bag and come back later. Um, what else? And it's one degree outside, so I'm looking forward to going to Florida, but then going to Chicago, it's going to be cold again, so I'm a little unsure which coat to bring, but I'll figure it out. sunny Florida. It's actually quite humid in the airport um, and I took on my glasses and I put on some makeup and uh, I've got some meetings that I've got to go to so I'm ready for that. What a day. I can't believe this has all just been in one day. Um, so a couple things that I need to report. Um, so we had to set up three tables today instead of two, which is how many we normally, or instead of one, which is how many we normally set up. Also, on my way to the airport this morning, I did something terrible to my arm. I think I might have actually torn my other rotator cuff. So my left arm has pretty much not been working all day, which then means I've been carrying a lot of stuff with my right arm. I already had a torn rotator cuff, so now I'm in like excruciating pain, so that's awesome. Um, anyway, I'm going to bed because my alarm is set for 2.45 a.m., so that's like four hours from now. So I'm going to get some shut-eye, and then I'm going to make some awesomeness happen anyway. And you know what? Despite all my complaining, I really do feel like the luckiest girl in the world that I get to do this job. Let's go sell some scanning cuts. Hey you guys, I'm here in the green room. Let's see if we can't see some couches and some Mariah and whatever else, but uh, we're about to go on air, so I gotta go get mic'd and do all that kind of stuff, but I'm all glamorous. Hair and makeup, yeah. Turns that the scanning cut is mind blowing. Yeah. You know, if you've never seen it, it's gonna blow your mind, and if you've already seen it, man, I'm still gonna blow your mind. <laughs> because here's the thing, there's so much you can do with it. So let's first talk about what so it is. So that super fast. I did not get to do everything that I wanted to do or that I had planned to do, but um, I got another chance later today. This is a bunch of clear stamps that we cut with a scanning cut and then you can see we've stamped them out all over a sheet of paper and we're gonna use a scanning cut to cut them out. So we were supposed to film this thing on HSN2 at 10 a.m. and at like 10.05 they were like, oh, didn't anybody tell you? It's been canceled. So we have been up since like three something um, and now I am back at the hotel. I'm gonna try to get like two hours of sleep and then I gotta go back and set up for the five o'clock airing, which I hope is happening. Um, I got my fingers covered in ink, so it's probably good that I didn't have to put my hands on camera, try to scrub this off. Um, but yeah, so what a crazy day. I took a nap and then I read my phone for half an hour. It's amazing how something as simple as like, reading Twitter and looking at Instagram and surfing YouTube videos or whatever else can be like a really relaxing thing. Can you tell that my fake eyelashes are coming up in the center? That's the question. Okay, so just to be, just to be clear, I walked in the room and the first thing that Ryan did is and a look of shock, and now she's laughing so hard that she's crying because she thinks that this is 80s hair, and she doesn't know what to do. She's literally hysterical. So I'm not sure how good I feel about myself right now, but we'll make it work. So, um, Mariah, what do you think of my hair? It's shocking. <laughs> Shockingly interesting. Oh my god, that bad. With this 
hairstyle here and I'm going to show you how easy this is to use. So you simply push the back of it to open it up and then I'm going to go ahead and pull the cap off my pen, drop my pen in and then put the cap in the perfect little divot right there. And, and it's just right. like that, it's over. Oh. So oh, that's video. Shoot. Oops, that's video. We're in the car. <laughs> okay, I swear to you that uh, I've been in Tampa for a little more than 24 hours. It feels like I have been here for like a month. No, not a month, but like a couple days. I definitely um, am feeling tired and like just like so much has happened in the last 24 hours. It's crazy. Anyway, uh, had some good shows on HSN, learned some things, have some ideas for next time. Um, had Mexican food for dinner, which I love. Um, tomorrow is sort of a play day. Going to hang out. I fly to Chicago from Tampa on Thursday. Um, in the end, I think it was a good choice to fly direct from here and not to go home, basically sleep one night and then fly to Chicago because that would have been just like a change of suitcase insane. Um, but we'll see. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Good night. So I'm, um, sitting on the floor of my hotel room. Uh, we're checking out today, but I've been trying to do this thing where every morning I do like 15 minutes of just like stretching and breathing. Um, to try to have a good start to my day and I feel like it's starting to work just to like be calm and centered and all that kind of stuff. I, I would call it FOGA, like it's faux yoga because not really <laughs> yoga. Um, but yeah, I'm going to pack up, try to cram everything into my suitcase that I bought at the HSN Emporium yesterday. Got some amazing steals there. $5 pants, two pairs of $5 pants, a $5 puffy vest, a $5 like kimono jacket, and then I paid 30 bucks for two pairs of shoes. So I mean, I feel like I'm winning at life. Anyway, I'll see you in Chicago. This is my travel watercolor set. <clears throat> And you can see, um, I use the color mixing plate a lot, but I'm going about to go on a flight and I thought I might clean it off so that I can have a new um, start. So I'm just gonna rinse it in the sink and have a nice clean new beginning. Fresh and clean. Of a stressful day. Um, there have been a million problems on the trade show floor from pallets that didn't arrive to machines we didn't have to things not being where they need to be. So just like everybody was insane and I just tried to keep my head down and my gaze averted and do what I could and be helpful. Um, the good news is that everybody else was also, you know, trying to get stuff done and trying to be in a good mood, which is wonderful. Um, and so, uh, nonetheless, there was stress in the air. So I, it's St. Patrick's Day, but I declined to go out. Um, instead I got a massage, which was kind of a nice little treat because my rotator cuff is hurting from doing physical labor and I was stressed and everything. So, but it was really, really nice. Um, and then, uh, now I'm going to go to bed. It's like, what time is it even? It's like nine o'clock at night, but I'm so tired and I have to be up early. Um, but you know, this is the drama of being on the road and things happen and everybody sort of, you know, deals with it and looks for solutions. And I think that's the key, right? Always look for the solutions. It's like Mr. Rogers said, always look for the helpers, always look for the solutions. Good morning. So I'm dressed. I'm ready. Let's go scale. And, let's go scale. Let's go sell a million scanning cuts. We have just been cutting watercolor with our scanning cut, and we weren't sure what was going to come out. Do it. Ready? Reveal it. Pull it. Yank it. <gasps> Amazing. And actually, there's not that much watercolor left on this piece of paper. Just a teeny little bit. So it did a really, really good job. Okay. <laughs> so long day. I'm tired, um, but I have to go to a group dinner in about 15 minutes. Um, I also have broken out in zits all over my face, which is always super awesome. I think it's the stress of the trip and like wearing all that makeup for HSN and Lord knows what else. Anyway, um, but really interesting, very different convention than I've been to before, very different buyer. 
talked to someone today who's from an architectural firm. They were interested in the scanning cut for cutting um, out models. There's just such so many different ideas, and I'm excited by that. been waiting for for your whole life the Sunday report um, good day at the show I chose to wear some little heels just like a little one inch chunky heel boot bad idea my feet are killing me um, but another great day at the show really interesting watching um, a totally different crowd come through the booth which was kind of exciting see what their questions are what they're interested in um, I got to wear my new five dollar leather pants you can sort of see them. Here you go. Maybe not the most flattering part of the body to show, um, but little leather leggings. Um, really warm, really comfy. I mean, I'm actually curled up in them in my hotel room. So I would say overall, another really great day. And that's two days of showdown, two days to go. And that also means in two days, I get to go home. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, I hope you'll subscribe to my YouTube channel, leave a comment, and give me a thumbs up. Thanks so much. Thank you.